Hi, welcome back. Um, touch DRO. This is something that several people have asked about. Um, I've mentioned it a couple of times and um, I'm going to get on with it. Uh, it's been a long time in the making. I've been working on some sort of DRO system for probably 12, 13 years, something like that. Um, so started off with my own homebrew one. Uh, had three axes in and a four line display so xyz and some menu options um never got around to finishing it uh it did work though um uh until until it stopped working um but uh yeah it essentially worked um key problem being that the scales had some of the scales i was using not all of them some of the scales had auto power off on the um on the scales because I wasn't using proper um, DRO scales. I was using calipers. Now, the reason for that was when I first did that project, I just bought a house and had literally no money and wanted to do it as cheap as physically possible. Um, so I'm kind of got a incumbent scale based system, which uh, I wanted to sort of reuse um, and improve upon. Um, being an engineer, I always want to try and solve problems. Uh, sometimes those problems don't really need solving. But um, in this instance, I decided to solve the power off problem um, along with um, some noise problems with the um, one and a half volt comms that the uh, the these digital scales have. And the newer ones are three volts, I think, but and possibly a lot better. But the ones that I'm using are the the ones that take a one and a half volt button cell um and they are susceptible to noise and you get corrupted readings and stuff like that so i put a microcontroller inside that microcontroller looks after the scale it reads the scale if it turns if it turns off it turns it back on again um it makes sure that um it keeps an up-to-date um scale reading and then i've got this little box here that i call a concentrator um so I can plug up to four scales into this. Um, haven't really worked out what the fourth one's going to do yet, but um, X, Y, and Z uh, for the time being. Um, that requests a reading from a scale. Scale sends it back. It then asks the next scale for a reading. Scale sends it back. Um, one one little thing I've put in there to make it a little bit quicker on the refresh rate is that if a scale doesn't have any new data it will just return an n to say no new data um so it'll zip through the well generally two scales that aren't changing uh, very quickly um and then update the one that you are changing as quickly as physically possible um on the on the on the nice new touch dro display so this is the touch dro application on the google play store um, you can download it from here and if you've got an android tablet go straight on no trouble um, i'm using an amazon kindle fire tablet uh, which of course runs the amazon version of android so in order to get dutch dro onto that you need to do a, a process called side loading i'm not going to go into that there's um, just search google whatever um, and there's plenty of uh, information about that um, I managed to do it, um, so I think most people probably could. Um, it just involves getting bits of the Google Play Store and essentially just copying them into the the file system on the the Fire, and it allows the the, the Touch Zero application to run basically. Um, now there's a website, um, the original one uh, where I f where I found this was called Yuri's Toys. Um, there's a store associated with it where they sell various adapter kits. Um, these are interfaces for conventional scales, um, you know, this this sort of thing. The, uh, the sort of digital capacitive ones or the optical or magnetic. Um, basically, you can plug anything you like into this thing and it'll work. Obviously, I'm doing it a little bit differently. Um, but that's just me so uh, over on the mill i've got the um, display mounted there um i'm going to mount the little concentrator box either here or on the back or something so it's close to the usb port which I've got this thing the wrong way around now um fortunately being a tablet 
you can turn it over and the display turns over. There we are. Um, so the USB port is just there. So we can plug into that um, and uh, have our little box handy. Then on the Z, I'm in the process of mounting a 300 millimeter scale. Um, it's a bit of a work in progress. The old one, I'd actually made out of two 150 mil um, calipers and I'd welded it together, but I'd welded it so gingerly because I didn't want it to uh, distort. So obviously the, the scale body had to run smoothly up and down that. Um, I, it really didn't get much penetration. Basically zero penetration there. Um, really just some, <laughs> just a bit of discoloration on the top. Um, I, I'm going to have ground it down because I needed it to be smooth for the, the back there to slide over it. So um, so unfortunately that, oh, that that worked for a fair time, but it did break. Um, and one problem of, with it was that because it was two separate scales, there was a, there was a discontinuity as you went over the step. Um, I had soldered the, um, the two halves of the scale there together. Um, to try and improve the continuity because that little finger there is equivalent to one of these and I've got half I um, filed it I think seem to remember so that it was as close as I could get it but uh, there was still a discontinuity there and it you lost a few um, hundredths of a millimeter uh, going over the bump so that's the Z that's the old Z the new Z is a 300 mil scale, so we shouldn't have that same problem. So not welded and um, no discontinuity. The uh, the Z axis is technically 300 mil of travel. However, this um, concertina thing actually limits it to about two 280 because it gets so so um, thick that it uh, it doesn't doesn't do the full travel. Um, that said, down is really a problem. It's it's up. Could do with a bit more. Um, anyway, it's a problem for another day. Y axis. This is the one that's been on there from day one. This needs the little microcontroller board to uh, make it work with the new system uh, and a little three D printed box, um, perhaps to go over the top just to protect it from some chips. And then finally, underneath, sorry about the lighting and the focus, underneath is the x-axis. You can see I've got a green scale stuck to a piece of aluminium. Same, uh, same material that I used to make that parasol stand last time. Um, and that goes to a, a reed head under there. Again, that's going to need the um, microcontroller board to uh, cure the um, cure the turning off problem and make it talk to my my new concentrator box. Um, but they're fairly straightforward jobs to do. Um, so I'm going to get those get those done shortly. Right. So that's a quick overview of um, the. DRO system that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to do another video shortly on fitting it. Um, you know, getting the uh, all the uh, scales bolted on and uh, the the boards installed onto the actual scales on the machine and 3D boxes, etc. So the sort of actual fitting. Then I'll do a video on using it once I've actually used it myself. Um, uh, it looks like it's got a fair few functions, um, still got a few to explore. Um, and then if anybody's interested, I can do a more in-depth video um, on the uh, the workings of the micro um, on there. Um, I mean, if you're really interested, let me know. I can probably put code on GitHub or something and you can have a look. Um, that's about it. See you next time. Thanks for watching.